hey, I'm welcome to my channel. And so help me. I just talked for, I don't know how many minutes. <laughs> and my screen it minimized. I'm like, oh my gosh, I didn't even turn the video on. <laughs> Let's do this again. <laughs> Today we're going to do some Happy Mail. And uh, look at Sebastian's journal. I was showing you this. I'll, I'll pick it back up. Um, the Happy Mail comes from Tony Crane. She has sent me an email wondering did I have these particular Taste of Home and Gooseberry Patch books. And there were several of them that I didn't have. And so she sent them to me. And the first one is Bees and Me, a Gooseberry Patch. And then Celebrate Winter. I had Celebrate Spring. I didn't have Celebrate Winter or Celebrate Summer. So I guess now I just need to find Celebrate Fall or Autumn, whichever one they call it. And then, because I didn't know it was a set. I just had Celebrate Spring. And then when she sent me that, I'm like, oh, well, it's a set. And then for Taste of Home, Backyard Grilling, which is just the time. Just the time for the summer one. Well, actually, the bees one has Garden Fresh recipes in it. So... These really all came at a good time here in the summer. Now, um, I'm going to show you what I've got so far in Sebastian's journal. Jacob's is, um, he's just waiting for him to be born, obviously. Sebastian's, I've just gotten so far in it. He's four and a half. These are five-year journals. Now, I'll tell you, if you're expecting to see one of these beautiful works of art, these vintage, you know, looking gorgeous works of art that's not what you're going to see it's my first one it's my first attempt it's just my process i enjoyed every minute of it it is just my um vision of a junk journal and it's just got you know what i like in it and who knows if up to now if i'm even through with what i've done I might go back and junk it up even more. <laughs> Can you have too much junk in a junk journal? I don't know about that. Can you embellish it too much? I don't know. So we're going to turn around and see that. But first, let me tell you, the book that I used, that's what I was showing you, the book that I used that I was going to make for both the boys together, since I'm going to wait and work on theirs, um... When Sebastian comes down with it, I'm hoping it's in the next couple of weeks so I can start getting more pictures. And then when the baby's born, you know, I'll be back into it hot and heavy. And I thought, well, in the meantime, I would start on a journal for me. And I was going to do one about owls and birds. And I, I decided to make it like just stuff I like, which is the bulk of it so far is just owls and birds. But there's a lot of room for growth in here. So this is the... I decided to put a couple little butterflies on it and, you know, some different little things. But you can see I've got the the basic pages in it. And so that's what I've been working on. I've got such a mess over here. That's one thing when you junk journal, you have papers and scraps everywhere and little notions and all these things. Now, when you look at Sebastian's book, if you sent me stuff, you're subject to see some of it in that book. So, um, I appreciate everybody's donations. Oh, um, I'll mention that on another video. Well, no, let me mention it now. Uh, I, I hesitate asking, but if you're watching this video, then you really care. <laughs> you really care about me because I know some people were here just for the weight loss content. And I've not been doing a lot of that lately. I've just been doing things that make me happy. And the weight loss is not making me happy. <laughs> but I'm wanting some canceled stamps. I've not seen any of thrift stores. They make great little embellishments. And I thought, I have all y'all that maybe y'all could help me. And then a piece of you would be in my journals. If you sent a card or a letter or an empty envelope or a postcard, I could use a postcard in there too, then I would have canceled stamps. I just I just thought, I don't know if I should ask that or not. So, I mean, I'm not saying you have to 
<laughs> you, I don't even know how much a stamp is. I buy those forever stamps. I couldn't even tell you how much a stamp is. But if I had known I was going to do this, all the cards y'all have sent me over the past couple years, oh my gosh, I would have so many stamps. It's not even funny. So I just thought maybe if y'all could help me um, do that. And if you um, have ever sent me a, a gift or a Christmas card or anything, then you've got my home address on a thank you note or on a Christmas card. And you can certainly send it to my home address otherwise to my P.O. box and um, I don't know I would just appreciate that I, I think it would be fun having all the stamps from all over and from y'all and <clears throat> so I hope you don't mind me asking and you, you can participate or not participate but anyway let's just turn around and get started on Sebastian's book and thank you again Tony I do appreciate it okay I'm not sure about this angle but it's pretty much the best I can do so the first thing I did was those bandanas I bought at the Dollar Tree. I cut it down and made a little too because they were way too bulky. So that's just the tie that I'm using to hold it together. And the cover is a piece of poster board from the Dollar Tree that I covered in some fabric. And his name, it, I was going to put it across like I did Jacob's, but you can see Sebastian is way too big. So I put his name down the side. And now we just start this is the little book page pouches that I made so I'm writing on the back of the pictures what they are in that a cute little baby and some just little tags like that says enjoy the little things this one I wrote on the back is well be happy be bright be you but I wrote always 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 be yourself and then this was just about the day he was born and another picture uh, this was on his um, door at the hospital and I left this uncovered do not follow where the path may lead go instead where there is no path and leave a trail Ralph Waldo Emerson a Emerson I like that for him and here's just a little pouch I made that I haven't written anything on that yet. It's just a cute little tag. And then me and him. And this was just a little picture in a book that I thought was cute, so I left it. I just put some like little glitter glue and spots just to bling it up. Like I said, I, I don't know that I'm still through with these pages or not. And here's another little picture. This right here is a picture I colored. Um, there was a year that we fought a, a battle for him. A year that we drove back and forth to Ohio. And that was a very stressful year. And the way I got through it was adult coloring. I have a stack, I'm not joking, a stack of color pages because that's what I did. I watched Criminal Minds and colored. And this was one of the pages that I colored that I just cut down. I thought it was just cute with the little kitty cats and butterflies. And he, he won't necessarily know the memory of it, but I will. And this is one of those little gift tags that I put one of the ribbons across and stuck that little picture in it. These are stamp pictures from a stamp, because sometimes I order my stamps online instead of the post office. And these, they have Hot Wheel stamps and so I just cut out some of those and made a little tab there's another little picture of the three of us and that was just another see I still haven't blinged them out I just thought that was cute with that other picture and this um, it's kind of hard pulling this stuff out with the wrong hand this is just a little card this was the day he was born and when we all got to hold him for the first time, this is a little flap. And I wrote, sometimes the smallest things take up the most space in your heart, Pooh Bear. I thought, how fitting was that? This is just his little monogram with a, a lizard I found in uh, actually the Magic School Bus. I do remember that, the Magic School Bus book. 
and another little that was his first Halloween some of these I can't get a hold of them that's his first little Halloween picture and here was just a fabric flap and this is an envelope I made things I love about you it's just a little envelope and I, I can just write things in there little things that I love about him which is more than this paper but I just clip that on and then that was his one year birthday I just put some dinosaur fabric back there and this I just thought was cute because it, it's a Momo and Elmo it's who I love <laughs> and it can go both ways actually and there's his another one of his little one-year-old picture so those stickers the one through five stickers that I was sent uh, I told you all y'all will see different things that y'all have sent me in here buttons stickers pictures fabric you name it um, for that and then some more pictures and this I put goldfish or life this is one of my favorite pictures of that child when he would eat and he still does if there's something he likes he shuts his eyes when he eats it and he was standing over by my, by my chair eating some goldfish and I caught him doing his little eye closing thing and so that's why I thought go fish your life I love that picture and these I just put I love vehicles because he calls on vehicles he, he's too grown for his own good he's always called on vehicles ever since he could talk really before he could talk Papa taught him all the vehicles he has a truck book that has all the construction and specialty vehicles in it and he knows every last one and he always has and these are like his favorites he will spot a construction vehicle a mile down the road and you're like how did you see that he is all about the vehicles and this is a little envelope i made it's just got a little card in there i can put anything else in there i want to there's plenty of room and it is on the KFC bag and I made a little pouch right there with another picture in it a little tag picture a little tag right there under the little duck this I just happened it, it the way it worked out is I printed this picture not realizing I still had the tickets from when he went to see Thomas the tank engine we have a train station that's a, a big deal just up in the next town and they have a Thomas the Tank Engine Day and so RJ took him to that so that's just a book page that I folded over and there's another um, picture in there him and Flair and this is a little plastic pa paper bag pouch envelope I made from a paper bag and um, just embellished it and more little tags and pictures of him he He's, he's a hat kid. He's always loved hats. Even They put hats on him as a baby, like little toboggans and things. And I guess he just grew used to it. He will ha wear hats of any kind. I could do a hat book, no joke, <laughs> of all the pictures I have of all the hats he wears. And then I just made two little um, separate little pouches there. Look, there's another hat and sunglasses. And just some little pictures I liked. And some more little pictures and some more of the little Hot Wheels. He, he will fall asleep. He plays so hard he'll fall asleep anywhere. He actually fell asleep like that. I have a bunch of pictures of him sleeping in funny positions. And these were two that I liked. And another little pouch with a picture and a pouch with a... Um, you are kind. You are smart. You are important. And the little pouch there. Okay, I'm trying to think, did I glue that all the way down or not? And then another little pouch when he turned two. That was his two-year-old birthday. And just a, a little page. And this is the envelope where the string that is tied in the middle. And I can put stuff in that. This I wanted to show you. I made this from a Pringles container. The packaging where the little tubs of Pringles, individual Pringles were wedged up in there and when I saw it I thought I think I can do something with that so 
I got some trans um, transparency film and covered it and put those little pictures behind it for just a little flip up. This was COVID. The kid was a trooper. He wore it at school. He wore his mask when you went out in public. He just wore it. He was good about it. And that was one that John made him. And this is his three-year-old birthday. A little pouch I made with a bear. And some more pictures, you know. Whoops. Uh, right on the back. Another little pouch there. And this is a little envelope. Um, let me see. A little clothespin. And I have a little notepad I made. That I have plenty of room. Well, it's page, pages under there. That I have plenty of room to write in. And some more little tags. This is just those little clothespins from the Dollar Tree. And Blippi. These are the um, little cupcake embellishments I found. They came on little like sucker sticks. I found at that liquidation center. And I had printed this picture out because that's like his natural habitat. Watching his shows. He calls them on my old Kindle. That's his Kindle. And eating his snacks and at this age that's probably what he was watching because he was bleepy obsessed and this I've showed you before I'll show you again this is called a Turkish fold this is from the movie cars he, he was all about cars he, he he got into things Thomas the tank engine bleepy cars different things he's been into but it opens up to a picture I thought that was pretty cool. And then we're up to his, that, well that was his three stickers. So now we're up to his four year. Oh, and that's just a tag with some pictures on it. And I made this where I can write in it. I have it written in everything. And then just, I cut, cut off a little um, baseball to use as the closure and this is his preschool picture I put push yourself to be great this is the pawpaw page where there were two pictures of trucks it was spot the difference and so I made a pouch uh, a pocket I guess you would say and put pictures of him and pawpaw that I liked there's a bunch of those because he's all about his pawpaw and then in here, I um, just put a picture of Lightning McQueen, because he loved Lightning McQueen, and just a, a little bead on the paper clip, and so his four-year-old stickers. And here, these were pictures of stamps, too. And that's one of my colored um, dollies. And this quote I love, today you are you, that is truer than true. There is no one alive who is youer than you, Dr. Seuss. Then up, we're up to his five. That I just thought was adorable, and I'm not going to do anything else to him because he's just way too cute. This was a napkin that was sent to me that I decoupaged on. And this is a pouch that I made, a pocket. I keep calling them pouches, but my journal. <laughs> These are some markers that I have that bleed through. They're meant to, um, I, I can't remember if they're watercolor or alcohol, but they're meant to do that. That's their property. And then I found out by accident one day I was coloring something and it bled through. I took coloring pages from his color book and picked out these little images and put it on the paper and colored it. And so it seeped through and kind of looks like a stencil. So that's from his coloring pages. And here is a... Um, little pocket I made Noah's Ark this is uh, I fight with it to get it off and on so it comes off and on the corner and then you know I can embellish it I can stick stuff there I can stick stuff there I can still stick stuff under there like I said I got tons more to do these were the puzzle pieces that I got from the Dollar Tree I just made it into pouches this is from the um, mouse book I found and I pulled out the the S 
and there's a pouch on that is just going to keep flopping on both sides of that. I still have something to do there. This is a little um, interactive page, so you can look at it that way, or you can look at it that way, which I thought it was perfect that I had those little frog stickers. And then another pouch. So you got another whole page to work on. Another little um, pouch here. I can't think. I didn't leave that open. And then the last page. All the places you'll go. The Dr. Seuss book. And you will succeed. Yes, you will indeed. 98 and 3 quarters percent guaranteed. Kid, you'll move mountains. Dr. Seuss. And so that is, you can see, it got kind of a little chunky there. So I definitely need my binder <laughs> my my tie not my binder and that is all so i hope you enjoy seeing what i have been working on and as i work on my other one i'll show you the the progress i'm making on that so that's all i know for today and i will see you on my next video